Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, I'm going to talk about the written business communication messages. How we apply written business communication messages in day-to-day -day life in our business. I have made a tentative question. What are the features of written business communication messages? This is... These are the points which I have presented below are some of the features that is what we can apply in the written business communication messages in the day-to-day -day business world. Written business communication messages are the formal messages preserved for the future reference. Memos and notice are two types of written business communication messages. There are many other features apart from memos and notice. Letters, that is the first written communication message apart from memos and notice. Letters are the most formal means of communication used to communicate with people within and outside the organization. They are well structured and can convey several ideas and points clearly in writing. Letters can be cheaper to produce and they can also be made confidential. However, they need a series of follow-up letters and letters may reach the destinations too late and even may not reach the receivers. It means letters must be followed up all the time and it may reach and may not reach to the receiver, though it is a formal written communication message. So nowadays emails are replacing the letters. Now what is emails? Emails are replacing memos and letters today. They have become very common and popular because they are free, fast, secure and confidential. Emails are free, they are very fast and secure and even confidential. So uh, it is cheap and compared to letters and then letters and memo, uh, memos are being replaced by the emails. They also f they allow feedback faster than the letters. Emails can be used both for formal and informal purposes. The documents and photos of any sizes can be attached in emails. This is one of the advantages of emails. However, emails can be ignored and deleted too. We can ignore this emails and we can even delete if it is not necessary to keep for a long time for futures. Now, next written communication message is minutes. Minutes are formal notes or records of business meetings, hearings and decisions made. They start with a list of people. In my meeting, in my note, just list of people, people's names are written who were present at the meeting and followed by a statement of the issues considered by them. Any statements, whatever they have presented, are written down there. A secretary takes the notes to prepare the minutes letter. This is how minute is also a kind of written business communication message. It is kept for future reference to, to know about the condition of the organization. Another written communication message, business communication message is reports. A report is an organized document that presents information about a business situation. It presents findings from an investigation about the company, about the organization. The types of report can vary, which differ depending on the details of presentation included in them. How much detail we, detail we present in them in that uh, position it depends on the size. Some reports may be just one page while others can be of hundreds or more pages. A report is submitted by lower level employees to upper level ex executives. Reports need to be objective and accurate in examination of particular event or situation. Since it is a bulky, it is very large, big, bulky means big, it is time consuming for the audience to read through it. It takes time. It is quite bulky. It needs detailed observation and reading to get the detailed information about the company's position, organization's position through the reports. Another written communication message is proposals. A proposal is a plan or suggestion provided for consideration 
by someone. It is a formal written document making an offer of a product or service to the client. Proposals can be solicited and unsolicited. Solicited, unsolicited. solicited means submitted with request or submitted without request. Sometimes proposals are demanded to write and, and we are requested and we write the proposals. Sometimes we write the proposals ourselves to get the information. Right? Business plans. This is another business communication uh, message. Business plan is also known as a business proposals. It is a formal document that sets up business goals and how those goals would be achieved. It includes the strategies for the progress of the business. It is a written description of the future of a company's business. Everything what is what we will will do in business will be presented or written in the business plans about the future bulletin boards and is a bulletin board is a, a bulletin board is a place of posting public notices posters leaflets pamphlets advertisements and announcements of events and new developments they are often used in schools universities and in many offices they are hung on the walls near the entrance of an office, but they are found in electronic notice boards nowadays. Nowadays, bulletin boards are replaced by electronic notice boards. Another one is sign board. That is also written business communication message. A sign board is a large board fence that displays the name or logo of a business with attractive images and some written informations. Written informations are also included with attractive images in the signboards. It is often displayed along highways, on buildings and other visible locations. Signboards are also known as hooding boards. They are not only signboards, they are also known as hooding boards. Now posters, what is posters? Posters are large printed notices with photograph to advertise or announce something. Posters are also written business communication messages. They are highly visual and are designed to be hung or attached to a wall. That's why this, these posters are also a kind of written business communication messages. Another one is pamphlets. A pamphlet is a small booklet or leaflet used for promotional purpose. It may provide information about organizational values or a new product. It can be simple as a single page or half folded also or many pages. It depends on the size of the posters, pamphlets. Now, brochures. Okay, a brochure is a professional form of promotional material. Brochures are always found in the company's products, in universities, in schools, and other places. It is different in design and format with a view to create positive and lasting impression. Brochures generally want to create lasting impression to the audience. And in it has a different design, different format to attract, to create the positive impression to the customers, to the service uh, uh, receivers. A brochure introduces a company and it can have an introduction of the company and its products or services. It does not only introduce company but even the products and its services. It is written in simple language, straightforward language, direct language, not a kind direct. It comes in various sizes and folds. It includes attractive photos and the brochures can be distributed among the people so that they can learn and they can get better information about the company or organization themselves by reading the brochures. Now guidelines or manuals. These are, um, this, these are another written business communication messages. Guidelines are documents that outline rules. Rules are given there. Regulations are given there. Principles are there. Pieces of advice also can be found in guidelines. They explain a course of action or a procedure, how to do 
how to move ahead that is a procedure that can be found out in guidelines the companies create the guidelines for their employees organization can create internal manuals that include guidelines on certain topics or issues so guidelines can be very useful for the employees who are the workers in an organization or in any companies now next written communication message is an instruction now what is an instruction then instructions are those documents that explain a process step by step how to do how to work that process is given an instruction it conveys how to use some product or service when we buy a packet of noodles or a bottle of medicine we will also get with them some form of written instructions on how to cook the noodles or how to use the medicines but generally all these instructions are found in any objects when we are goods when we purchase so instructions help us to apply to use the goods are the are uh, things that is what we have purchased now next business written communication message is questionnaires questionnaires are set up written questions with answer options are given there they are useful to conduct surveys about the new products or services because the audience or people give the information about the questions answer they are used to gather information from a large number of people and about their likes and dislikes however some people may not respond the questionnaires well because of lack of understanding but people may not be honest in their responses too if they are not honest and the information gathered from the people may not be accurate one so it depends upon the how honest the question uh, how honest the people are they are to involve in answering the questions another written business communication message is sms it is called text messaging and this is sms is short message service is available on mobile phones and it is becoming very popular to send and receive many business messages these days it is used for sending and receiving short messages text messages are informal however depending on the context style and tone they can also be formal text messaging can be useful in marketing employees working at a disasters disaster scenes can be updated with information of sms so quickly it can be used for the security of mobile banking transactions too so sms are very modern form of written business communication messages another written business communication message is resumes a resume is a summary of a person's employment education skills or work experiences it is used in applying for a job in any business the best use the term cv that is curriculum vitae the length of it depends on the profile of a person how much or how long he or she has worked in the company and what sort of qualification he or she has got on the basis of this information the resume the length of the resume depends on now another written business communication is articles the articles are short or medium length they are news articles interviews newspaper articles magazines newsletters and the like these are the articles articles can be short as well as long they cover a variety of topics they reach a wide range of audience so articles are useful written business communication messages for the conduct of faster business in a large mass of the people another written business communication message is newsletters a newsletter is a periodic publication it is published periodically in the form of bulletin for the internal audiences within an organization it is printed on letter size paper 
it carries the company's updates and news about employees employees get a lot of information and news about the companies through the newsletters another business written communication is called messages called press release okay a press release is a form of news articles by a company to pass on a piece of important information to the mass media like radio television online news and the like it provides an accurate information press release is especially conducted with the help of the journalist and in fact the head of the company especially conducts the press release and gives all the information about what the events or issues are in the about the company now another written business communication message is print advertisements advertisements can be both uh, digital and print one so print advertisement is a notice or announcement in a mass media placed by a company to promote a product or service or an event right or events a print aid means advertisement may be used to publicize a job back in situ it helps it helps to reach a large number of people at once so print advertisements are useful for the uh, for the up, updating or promoting of the company's business with the help of the print advertisements the company's business can be promoted can be extended can be given to a large information to the large number of the people these all offer mentions of above mentioned pieces are the written business communication messages and they are often useful for the business this is how we can do the business in a better form right this is all about written business communication thank you